The margin of error formula can only be used to find two things, the sample size n or the margin of error me. In our first example, if we want a margin of error of 3.2%, what sample size will we need? We replace ME with 3.2%, but then we convert the percentage into a decimal, so it becomes 0 0.032. Then we square that. We have 0 0.9604 over 0 0.001024. We do our division. And we end up with this number, 937.890625. But of course, we can't question 937 point something people. We have to round off. So we will question 938 people in our sample survey. This value has us round up to 938, but we will always round up. Because if we asked 937 people, we would have a margin of error slightly larger than 3.2%. Let's look at another example. This time we want a margin of error of 4%. We convert the 4% to 0 0.04, its equivalent in decimal. We square that, and then we do our division. We are getting 600.25. Here is an example where we have to round up where the numbers would normally have us round down to 600. Instead, we will round our answer up to 601 because we do not want a margin of error slightly more than 4%. It's okay if it's slightly less than 4%. What if we are looking for the margin of error and we know the sample size? If we have a sample size of 1,000, plug it into the n position in the formula, and then we do what I call the trade. Since our unknown is in the denominator, we trade that denominator with the value at the left of the equals, and we end up dividing 0.9604 by 1,000. This will give us this value. Because the ME is squared, we have to square root both sides. And the square root of that value is 0 0.03099 and continues. Therefore, our margin of error is 0.03 in decimal mode, but we want it in form of a percentage. We multiply by 100, and we get 3.099, etc. percent. I'm going to round off to the nearest thousandth, so my final answer is the margin of error is plus or minus 3.099 percent. Remember the plus or minus, it is important. The margin of error is both added and subtracted to the results. Let's look at one more example where our sample size this time is 500. We plug it into the formula, we do the trade, we do our division, we square root both sides, and then we multiply by 100 to convert our value into percentage. We have 4.3826, etc. percent, and we're going to round it off to the nearest hundredth this time, we have a margin of error of plus or minus 4.38%. This is how you use the margin of error formula to find either the sample size or the margin of error itself.